Google rolled out its brand new Maps app for Android and now iOS. Check out what's new in this version, and spoiler, there's a lot. After releasing the Android version earlier this week, Google has released iOS versions of its newly revamped Maps 2.0, including versions for iPad and iPad Mini. The Android and iOS versions of Google Maps are mostly identical and offer significant enhancements over the old maps that we're all used to. In a slight departure from past Google ad-friendly activities such as grabbing coffee or teaching yourself ukulele, Google announced the new maps loud and clear with an ad showing how the app can help you have the craziest night you ever spent in Detroit. First at a biker bar, then eventually at a bitch and concert after picking up some sick new threads, of course, and a new friend. High-fiving everyone in sight all along the way. So how can the new app help you accomplish all this? Well, for starters, you'll notice a card-based design in this version, with an emphasis on overlays that have the information you often need to access quickly, like directions to whatever dive bar you're picking up bikers at. But there's also a greatly increased focus on exploration. With Google Maps 2.0, it's much easier to discover new places to go based on categories, eat, sleep, play billiards, etc. Within each of these categories, there are subcategories, bakeries under restaurants, for example, and presumably dive bars under bars. From there, you can access all sorts of information on a particular place, including ratings and reviews, hours, website, or take a closer look with Street View. Navigation is also improved in this version with support for live traffic updates and incident reports. In the tablet version of Google Maps, you can access all that info through a nicely laid out card specific to that place. On the phone version, this info will appear in a pop-up tab. In its newly revamped form, Google Maps is also much more socially focused than ever. As long as you're signed in, there are a bunch of social and social-ish features available to you. If you're a person inclined to review restaurants, for example, you can do so directly from the app. You can also contribute photos, and for the thrifty or entrepreneurial, Google offers are also integrated directly into Maps 2.0. Another brand new feature of Maps 2.0 is indoor maps with walking directions for select malls, airports, and transit stations. And of course, it's all integrated with Google+, so hopefully your new pal with the leather is on it too. Of course he is. Have you downloaded Maps 2.0? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. For TFN, this is Annie. And be sure to check out today's episode of HD Nation, where Pat and Robert show you the best HD TVs for gaming. Click the link to the left.